All right, everybody, welcome back to the show. We've changed locations. Obviously, we are in the kitchen of the newly opened Hawksworth. Oh my gosh, and it's amazing. Uh, we're joined by Chef David Hawksworth. How are you? Good, how are you? Congratulations, you're open. I know, that's, that's great, how finally. Ex how exciting was it for you when you finally got to open the doors here? Uh, after three long years, yeah, <laughs> uh, it was uh, It's great. I mean, it's just a phenomenal room and it's, uh, it couldn't be you know, any more exciting. So yeah, yeah really happy. Nice. Uh, now this kitchen, just to sort of give everyone a setting, uh, because in the Hotel George of the building, there's a couple different kitchens. This one just just for you. Yeah, this is us. So uh, this is just for the restaurant. Uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. AFD? Um, AFD. <laughs> you can figure that one out. And brunch, too. Now uh, let's yeah. talk about the room before we talk about the menu, because, I mean, there's a reason why it took a while to open. Yes. No detail was spared. Tell us about the restaurant. We've got uh, 30 seats in the bar. Uh, then the, the, we have two dining rooms that are split in, uh, in half. One is more of an art room focused with Rodney Graham. Uh, he's got a huge 35 foot piece on yeah. there, which is just yeah, unbelievable. It's incredible, yeah. And then, uh, and then we have our pearl room, which is a great big chandelier in there, and then our wine room. I mean, obviously you've done this before in, in your career, and, and you've seen this sort of come together, but it must be really exciting every time you have a chance to be part of something like this from the inception and, and see it all come together. I knew where every corner was, what was going everywhere. So when it was actually built, it was it was yeah, it was surreal to see. How, it. how much did things change uh, throughout the process? Was uh, there a not, little bit of uh, not a lot? I mean, you know if you know you want to change more as you go along and then yeah. you learn in a hurry that uh, you don't right. do that <laughs> now I, when i first walked into the kitchen the first thing i said is oh my gosh it's enormous yes it is right you no. said it's not <laughs> it's, it it's is. <laughs> is it small no we have to work and live here and i mean no this is about the right size okay. right so if you have to do this what these guys do every day yeah you need a proper working area so you know yeah. you can't work inside something really cramped and be happy right and the wine room uh, yeah. down here uh is incredible yeah. yeah no he's got a nice uh spot there all temperature controlled um and you know we, we do more of a european wine service so we're, we're opening up everything uh, in the wine room, making sure it's right, and then bringing it out at the right temperature. Right? Yeah. So, Delicious. Bye. Now let's talk about the food. Uh, There's a burger. We're doing a burger today. <laughs> Tell us about your burger. It's uh, made with uh, uh, Angus beef. It's absolutely delicious. Uh, Mike's going to eat that in one bite. Is that, is that an onion <laughs> ring in there? There's an onion ring in there. There's a bit of uh, aged uh, cheddar. There's some bacon. Um, oh, and we've, we've got... <laughs> He's like, there's bacon and onion rings I know. in there. He's so happy. Here? He's so happy right and now. And cheese. So this is a, um, a black pepper jam, right? Yeah. So we have ginger, we have garlic, uh, shallots, um, and black pepper. It's quite delicious. So we'll put a bit on here. We'll... Oh. And then we can... That's why. See, somewhere Rodney Graham is like, good man, good man. <laughs> he knows what he's up yeah. to. He's happy. Yeah. And uh, this is green papaya. Yeah, this is some uh, shaved green papaya. And then we have some short rib meat. We uh, cook it at 53 degrees for 48 hours. 48 hours. We have some little bit of chili, little short rib shooter. Oh, so you're putting some melon cubes on there, obviously delicious. So what, what with the melon cubes is we took a piece of melon, he's happy. Um, so the melon's kind of that big. We put some marinade in there and then vacuum packed it and it compresses the melon. So it gives it a really unique texture. Oh wow. Right? Yeah. Oh, this is the greatest thing ever, man. <laughs> Just keep animating stuff. Chef David Hawksworth, it's okay. It's improving on nature, David. Yes. It's basically <laughs> what you've done. Get it consistent. So while you're plating that up, tell us yeah. about some of the other stuff that's on the menu for dinner. We've got the, uh, the new menu that's just come out. Um, we've got some octopus on there. We've got lamb. Uh, yeah, it's really, really fun. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, you can do it with wine pairings as well, which I'm imagining is probably a lot of fun. Don't deal. tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> so in all honesty, any hints on how logistically one would wrap this? Well, if, if you were going to attempt to if do this were, on oh, film, I was gonna so to you, do you, it. you, you might compress. have to Are manhandle that. Yeah, Kay. And then um, let's go here. Because if anybody can do it, Eckford can. He's yeah, kind of like that actually, boa constrictor. I have a hinged jaw, so that was just easy, David. <laughs> I'm all up for watching you struggle, but well, yeah. while Michael is manhandling his burger, I'm going to thank you, Chef yeah, David you. Hawksworth. Of course, you can join uh, Hawksworth Restaurant and the hotel itself. You actually itself. made it harder. You didn't make it easier. It's harder. We'll be open on July the 15th, so make sure that you come down for some great you just have food. To focus. Do a close up on this. It makes it sexy, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So just give it up. Aww. <laughs> 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 That's not a burger. <laughs>